famous reindeer of all. Just Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny. Hey, and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I am Quinn, a registered nurse with over 20 years of expertise, and this is the number one place to be for self care and health information strictly for the ladies. I think this is, you know, I'm not even gonna guess what day of vlogmas this is because I always get it wrong when I do that. So we're just gonna skip that part. But today's video, I'm going to be showing you how my Salux cloth is doing. I made a video over a year ago about the Salux cloth and I get the same questions a lot about it. Am I still using it? How I use it? Did I buy a new one? How do I clean it? All that stuff. I'm gonna answer those questions in today's video, so keep on watching. So if you have never heard of a Salux cloth, you don't know what in the heck I'm talking about, none of that, <laughs> go ahead and check this video out first. I'm gonna give you permission, go look at that video, then come back to this video so I can let you know what I think about it today. So I can let you know what I think about it today. Actually, just watch to the end of this video and I give you a summary. But um, in that video, I told you like all about what it was for, where it came from, all that good old stuff. So this is my Say Less Club. This is the one, y'all, from that video because I didn't buy a new one. So that answers one question. I'm still using the same one I've been had. And this is what it's looking like. So as you can see, it's it still look good. It still look good. I still use this thing just about every day to exfoliate and cleanse my skin. Still using this right here. Um, up close on it, the fibers are still intact, if you can see that, and it's just, it's just all right. <laughs> so I don't feel like it's a reason to buy a new one. Um, even though they're relatively inexpensive. I, well, I need to buy a new one, this will still work good. It still got the, um, the uh, I wasn't say abrasiveness, but that sounds real harsh. <laughs> It still has the, you know, the abilities to exfoliate my skin just like it did when I first got it. See, I fixed that. So I'm still using this one. And I still love it. And my skin's still soft. So that is that part. Now, I do cleanse it. So I throw it in the washing machine like once or twice a month. Yeah, once or twice a month. Because it's not like the fibers that are in um, a puff or anything like that, it is a different fiber. <laughs> it's not like that, it's a different fiber. This is actually 80% nylon and 40% polyester. So that's why I'm able to just throw it in the washing machine with my clothes and wash it to cleanse it. And like I say, it's been fine, it ain't got no holes. It's still intact, and it still does a good job exfoliating my skin. So, if I am wrong about that and I should have bought a new one or something, then, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess I kind of should do like a little brief overview or something, just in case you don't feel like going and watching a whole nother video. Right? So, the Sailor's Cloth is actually a Korean product. I got mine on Amazon and I did see someone make a um, comment that sometimes the ones on Amazon are fake. I don't know if that is true or not. I don't know how to tell if mine is fake or not. I don't know. But the reason I got it is because I have extremely dry skin, just like I was talking about the lotion. Um, I have extremely dry skin and I had several patches of KP or Kataris Polaris. Keratosis pilaris. <laughs> Car hold on, let me tell him. You know I just wanna look it up, right? I can't be on here looking crazy. It's keratosis pilaris. Keratosis pilaris. Yeah. So, yeah, I had, which I don't anymore, um, two, like, I mean, I guess I wouldn't say they were significant, significant spots on my um upper thigh. Not upper thigh. That's my lower thigh. On my lower thighs of keratosis of KP. Of KP. Um, so that's a lot of the reason. Well, that is the reason why I got it for that and for my dry skin. Because I do use this all over my body except 
guess where? You know, you, you, you ain't using it down yonder in the nether regions. The V area, we're not using it down there. I didn't use it down there because it's, like I said, it's got a little, you know, scrubbing capabilities to that. But, um, I mean, it, it's gone. I don't even have those spots on my legs. If you're familiar with KP, they also call it like chicken skin or strawberry legs. It's a texture. You know, maybe I should make a whole video about that. Do you want to know more about KP or do you have KP and don't know what to do about it? Because it was like a little regimen that I used on top of using that. But I definitely say that that cloth was a huge factor in helping me get rid of it. It's gone. It's gone, gone, gone. I have none of that on my thighs at all anymore. Um, so yeah, if you want me to make a full video talking about KP or strawberry legs or chicken skin, any of those names they call, just let me know and I'll make a full video about that. Okay, yeah. So, like I said, they are rather inexpensive. This was um, $5.49. I did get it. I'm, I'm looking at it because it's still on Amazon. And I will also put a link to this down in the description to this exact one that I bought. Um, yeah, so you can just pick it on up. Pick it on up. But it's $5.49 and I've been using it for a year. <laughs> <laughs> at, at least so I would say that's very much you know worth its price yeah. it also has over 2,000 like five star reviews or four or something it's it's greater you know how the shading of the stars it's almost all five of all the stuff almost all five of the stars shaded and with over 2,000 reviews so yeah if you got dry skin it just rubs it off so it's like you actually use it as your washcloth, except for like I told you down yonder, you're not gonna do that. But you just get in the shower or you can get in the tub, whichever one you do. And I put my, I use soap with it a lot because I've been really into these natural soaps I've been getting from my a little, a little local lady. Um, you can use natural bar soap or you can use body wash too, but I just think soaps work better. So that's just my preference. But you just use it and you you know you put your bar of soap in there and you lather with the soap my hand is the, my hand is the soap <laughs> and then you know once you get it like that and you can do it without it as well you can do it without any soap as well but you know you get in and get your body all moist or whatever and you want to be careful the first time you use this because you will scrape your skin off how i know it happened to me surprise it happened to me i was in there it happened on my back because it's so long that you can just, you know, flip it back here like this right here and, you know, clean your back. Go. That's a reenactment of me in the shower. But you can just get you, and it be, it's just so handy. And then you just getting all that dried, dead skin off, girl. It's amazing. Amazing. So, um, I was in there doing that, like, at first when I first got it. Because even though it does have some roughness to it, it ain't, like... It don't, it don't feel like no loofah. You know how a loofah feel? It ain't that rough. It's not as rough as loofah. So I'm like, okay, okay. So I'm in it. My back, my back, my back. Um, and the next day. Hey, you know how you get a scratch or something, uh, cut and you don't even know it? So the next day, I think I was rubbing across my back here or doing something. I was cut up. <laughs> I, my skin was cut up y'all so be careful doing that so use it gently and then over time you kind of get used to it if you have sensitive skin then you want to be real real gentle using it because even on the other parts of my body that I wasn't as aggressive with I still could feel it like that next day you know what I'm saying it's different than just using a washcloth the washcloth is nice and soft and cottony and that is not so you still could feel that something was going on there, but it wasn't, it didn't hurt. So just be gentle when you try it or if you try it for your dry skin. And then let me know if you try it or if you have tried it down in the comments. I want to know like, are y'all using this stuff? And what y'all think about it? And any tips or tricks you may have. I love that stuff too. My daughter just needs so cute. Again, if you want to see my full routine for moisturization, then comment that down below and let me know. Give this video a like. I'd appreciate it so much. And if you are not a part of the family, consider subscribing and joining the family because I want you here because I love you. I 
said it. I, I'm the first one to say it. I don't got no problem. Oh, the link is going to be in the description again. All right. Thank you for being here with me. I love y'all. I really do. And I'll see you in the next video.